<clears throat> I have a peculiar feeling this will be the last time you're here for me. My time has come. I got the dame out, and Hatters kicked the bucket. In minutes, this place will be swarming with Z. This is my unfortunate demise, as they say. I understand this all sounds a bit overly dramatic, but this is, after all, my death scene. I get to be a bit dramatic. <laughs> well, goodbye, everyone, and to hold good night. She was beautiful. I told you to scram, kid. I stuck around. Sadly, it would seem so. I was under the impression you'd be following. I have a prior engagement. I saw it. The bite, that is. We could find the cure. Give it to the others, too. There are people in need right now, Jones. And right now, well, right now you're one of them. It's not that easy. You don't simply find the cure. Nothing simple nowadays. The BPA is bound to have it. You said so yourself. Just. Please. All right, let's try it, kid. You might want to hurry. The day was gray. It was funeral day, and the rain had been as dark as a cement had struck. By this time, very nearly every day had become funeral day. The mass graves were filled at a rapid and grotesque rate. This funeral day was marked in my mind more clearly than any other by the events in the early hours of the morning, namely the burial of my father, whom I was forced to hack into two pieces after he changed. At the time, I knew very little, but there was one thing I was certain of. Before becoming a Z, my father had been working on something huge, and I had become determined to finish whatever it was. Little did I know that during the course of my investigation, I would discover my father's murderer, the true intentions of a mysterious agency, the origins of the zombie apocalypse, and perhaps myself, the distant man in all those puddles. I was looking for answers, but I understood none of the questions. When you leave behind the old, that is when the real nightmare begins. After the chaos reaches climax, the Biohazard Protection Agency (BPA) and their leader James Browning stepped in to be hailed as the saviors of humanity. If you ask me, they should have stopped the Z, the zombie virus, before the chaos even began. Nobody ever asked me. I realized I had to start somewhere, and for my father's notes, that would be the beginning, the first death. Spooky. Police arrived on the scene, described walking dead, all, all slaughtered. Oh my. My father. I arrived on the scene to several Z, which I regrettably was forced to take care of. After taking samples, my buddy in forensics found the cause, a virus, infecting the mind and lungs and destroying all but the central nervous system. As I was leaving my buddy, he said something really fishy. It would appear as though the disease is manufactured, made by man himself. Boop. Sarah Fair, nice to meet you. A dame? A dame? A girl, yes. I don't know about being anyone's dame. Say, how'd you get in here? The door, I presume. <sighs> a funny one. Not as much as you think. 
Okay, I don't plan on going to any one of those camps, so if you brought any overly concerned BPA officials with you... There's no one with me. I'm all alone. They could have followed you. Listen, kid, I don't know and frankly don't care. But I've got to go. If you want to lower the shotgun presently aimed at my chest, I have prior engagements. No one has a prior engagement anymore. Where? It's none of your business and all of mine. I've got to go. Good day and good luck. The virus. Could it be man-made? Was it possible? My father seemed to think so, and had laid out the perfect trail to follow. Only a handful of places in this desolate wasteland of a world could create this disease. Each had a distinct motive, the first being a private weapons manufacturer. And I was in luck. They were nearby. <laughs> hmm. tomorrow. Want the zombie? I've got plenty. Oh, and I'm sorry I didn't get you a present. A present? For your unbirthday, of course. Right. Thanks, but no thanks, pal. Suit yourself? Say, what do you know about the nearby facility? Very impatient, aren't you? Straight to business. Not much, but then again, no one really does. It's very, very secretive, I hear. No man would go in there alone. Not even if he were as mad as me. <laughs> it was evident the guy was nuts, but an extra man couldn't hurt. You're pretty handy with that cane. Would you join me? There might be some scavenging to be had. Now, even that's suicide. We would need an army of ferocious children. Or another shot with a gun. Which seems more likely. <laughs> it was beginning to look like I would brave it alone. And I had started to weigh the risks against the reward. Something never good in my line of work. First of all... What the... Another good shot, huh? Fine, but it'll be dangerous work for a dame. I think I can handle myself. Settled then. I like it. What fun. Settled. Does anyone know why a raven is like a writing desk? Ooh, a riddle. Poe wrote on both. Close, but wrong. What is it then? I have the slightest idea. <laughs> it had been three months since I had begun my investigations. Three months and a dozen dead ends. It was late November now, and as the leaves turned crisp and the air cool, every passerby could be heard by the distinct crunch of fallen leaves underfoot. Made me shiver. We had holed up in a little warehouse. The others are asleep now. I'll let them rest. It's been a hard three months. Loyalty is all we've got, and I don't know why we have it. I'm at a loss. I continue searching for answers, but the questions still elude me. What you thinking about? This mess we're in. It's not so bad. It is. What do you remember from it? I remember that one day everything just went from normal to ruined and we all dropped everything. Most of all, I remember my father. We all lost someone. Who was it for you? Um... My sister! Alice. So, you? My niece I lost. We were close and I was more of a big sister. My brother was actually the first to go when all this started. You don't say? Yeah. He was a scientist for the BPA. What? That's it. That's it. What's it? It's only logical. James Browning, you know? The savior? He was a politician, brought up on corruption. They couldn't charge him with anything, so that they gave him this throwaway position. BPA chief executive. He's the most powerful man in the world now. Exactly. If this disease were man-made... 
There's no mention of any suspicions of the BPA, but... But what? We left in a hurry. There could be more at home. This is a change of character for you. You're excited? A break is a break, kid. Hatter, can we travel? Are you okay? Of course I am. Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> right. It was time to go back. Back to the beginning. Where I left the old and the nightmare began. Why are we in your attic of all places? I cleared out the house, but I forgot he worked up here sometimes. Barricade. Do any of you fine ladies and gentlemen know why a raven is like a writing desk? No? Me neither! No. I want to thank you, Mr. Browning, for taking this time from your surely busy schedule What with this disease running rampant. It's hardly running rampant. How about you tell me why it is your own scientists who were the first to go, or maybe the reason why the disease itself is engineered? Seems you have it all figured out. I've seen the plans. The so-called safety camps for when everyone is at the height of the panic, but why? Logistics, my dear fellow. The less people there are, the easier they are to control. And disposing of you would entail one less person to control later. What? Oh, oh! Jones! Jones! The window! I think we can get out through the window. What? Of course, kid. Head out. I'll meet you down there once you're safe on the ground. But wait, wait. Take this. We need to get the word out. I have a peculiar feeling this will be the last time you hear from me. My time has come. So they say your life flashes before your eyes just before death. I guess I can vouch for that now, but more importantly, I understand the questions and have answered them all. What else is there to do?